I am reacting to more of your collections today. We have five collections we're going through. I'm gonna give two suggestions. I would say you should add to them for each submission. I'm not gonna be negative in this video at all, guys. We're just gonna be positive, good vibes only in this video. Hey guys, if you don't know already, Atrium Fragrance, our own fragrance brand, will be releasing our office fragrance titled Mr. Elegance. It'll be the next release coming out in January 2024. However, this release is only available as a pre-order for five days in the last week of January for a maximum of 400 bottles. To make sure you do not miss out on this release, click in the description down below to be notified of when it's going to be available so you can acquire your bottle. Thank you. So first up, we got Cooper Zemla, who says he is 15 years old and is wondering what his next fragrance should be. Now, as a 15 year old, I'm extremely impressed by the fact you already have a Zerjoff in your collection. I wish I was as rich as you when I was 15. Because of my jealousy, I'm gonna give you a negative 18 out of 10, bro. Just because um, I, I wish I had as much bread as you did when you were 15. But this is a very nice collection. So we got some nice sweet stuff here with the Jean Paul Gaultier's Most Wanted Parfum, which I believe is sort of in the Stronger With You kind of line of fragrances. Tell me if you guys agree or disagree. I haven't tried it yet. I'm not sure what that's. Hammer, Hammer Black? I'm not sure what that's about. I'm not, I'm not gonna look at that up, it looks scary. Um, but Hugo Boss, uh, Bossled Unlimited on the bottom right there. That was one of my first fragrances I ever, ever owned. It was a nice, light, musky pineapple scent for the summertime. Terrible performance, but a great scent. You have a few lighter and cleaner stuff like the uh, Prada Lomme, the Sauvage, but you know, generally you like the fruitier, sweeter scents, which is kind of cool. You're 15, you probably like those kind of things anyways. I'm gonna say, first of all to you, because of the style that you like, I'm gonna suggest Valentina Womo's Born in Roma Intense because it's got that bubblegum and amber style mixed together. It's sort of like if you took that ultra mal you have in your collection and mix it with Stronger With You, that's the kind of vibe you get with uh, Born in Roma Intense. And then after that, I'm gonna to suggest to you a stronger, longer lasting summertime fragrance that uh, would suit your collection more. I know Herba Pura, some people say it's a summertime scent, but it's quite sweet and fruity from what I've heard. I actually still need to try it myself in fairness. But I suggest something to you like Rosasi Hawas because you're 15 years old, you're young, you like youthful bubblegum scents. I think you'd like it. It'll be a nice new addition, new style of summer perfumery in your collection. Next up, we have Jordan Zeng, who has provided this picture here and is telling me that he wants another fragrance suggestion that will keep his collection more balanced. He wants to keep his fragrance wardrobe minimalist and streamlined from what I'm seeing on his comments. So let's see what we can do. First of all, it looks like this is a cupboard in a bathroom which is a big no-no for fragrance storage. You don't want to keep your fragrances in the intense coldness you can get in the bathroom or the intense heat, especially from the steam. So I'm going to give you a negative 84 out of 10, bro, just for that. But the collection looks good. The only fragrance I'm not recognizing here is the top left English Laundry Notting Hill, which is like a citrusy, peppery, musky sandalwood scent. Okay, I'm presuming this is for the warm weather. Other than that, I guess I'm already seeing some good balance in here. you got a variety of styles. you got the Toy Boy the uh, Invictus Summertime Scents, Aqua Di Gio. You got a sweeter stuff with Eros Flame, Ultramal, and Noir Extreme. So you got a basic beginner collection, I'd say. Uh, you got a solid foundation. You can maybe go a little bit more interesting, perhaps. I think a more intense professional office scent you can opt for is Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver, the Eau de Parfum, because I feel like that would add a new style to your collection. I know Mont Blanc Explorer can be worn for work, and it's pretty good, but uh, Vetiver, Grey Vetiver gives you a new style. It's got slightly better longevity. I think it'll just suit you really nice. I think you'll enjoy it. I think it'll add more balance to your collection, giving you more freshness, more serious professionalism in your collection. And then after that, I'm seeing that you're starting to go towards the creativity of perfumery with things like Toy Boy and Noir Extreme. I would say add Dior Homme Intense in there. I think it's a classic masterpiece in perfumery. Uh, it will suit your collection because you kind of needed a few more evening scents, I think and it's quite intimate, romantic, and warm. It will suit your collection really nicely, give you an alternative to wear to Tom Ford Noir Extreme and introduce you into interesting iris evening perfumery. 32% of people who watch School of Scent are subscribed to us. If you guys want to see our channel grow, to really help us out, click subscribe. Let's get that number to 40%. Thank you. Next up, we have Ali, who says here that he wants a spring fragrance for $5,200 and a summer fragrance for $5,200. You know I'm from the UK, bro. I don't do dollars, so I'm giving you a negative 16 out of 10. And also your uh, fragrance collection is a little bit wonky. It's kind of a triangle, but not really. So I'll make it a negative 21 out of 10. But I agree with you. I think you should opt for more warm weather fragrances because 
your fragrance collection is generally on the darker side, and I think some of your summer stuff could be a little bit uh, more long-lasting. Terra de Mez is pretty good, but you seem like a young guy based on your Instagram photos, so I'm quite surprised. I think it's quite a mature fragrance, but you know, if you like it, that's cool. Uh, but I generally would say, yes, okay, let's go for spring and summertime stuff. You've got a nice creativity of blends here. I like that you enjoy your sweeter evening scents. Uh, you got a variety of styles in those evening scents. I'm not sure about Bad Boy Extreme, not a fan of that at the bottom right, but otherwise a good collection. I think if you look for a 50 ml of this, you can get Chanel's Allure Homme Sport, the original, at a good price. I think it'll suit you. You're a young guy. It has a kind of new style to your collection, more ozonic airy perfumery that is just super handsome, super mass appealing. It works really nicely in the warm weather. And then opt for Carolina Herrera's 212 Man NYC. Another new style to your collection is spring and summer friendly, great for young guys, relatively affordable, as a new green style of perfumery with a shower gel backbone to it. I think it's really nice, 10 hours longevity, great quality. Sid Theaktsson has his lineup of fragrances here. Your picture is way too wide and that's gonna be a pain for our editors to edit, so I'm gonna be giving you a negative. Oh, you know what, I'll give you a four out of 10. Let's be nice today. Okay, just a four out of 10. Let's have a look at this collection. You got the Intenso of Dolce Gabbana on the left, which is interesting. It's quite an old school kind of smelling fragrance. I think it's tobacco based. It's quite an interesting scent. Uh, you got Valentina Borden Roman there. I'm not sure if it's the Intense or the original. You got some old school stuff mixed with some modern stuff. So it's an interesting collection here, actually. I've never seen actually nine, AM by Afnan before. I've always heard about it. I've never actually seen the bottle, which is interesting. So 9 AM Dive seems like a very minty, citrusy, fruity perfume here. And I believe it's a clone of YSLY, potentially. I think it'd be great to introduce you into some niche. I think you're kind of already going there. You got some classy stuff with Armani Code and the Prada Lom O. Uh, so I would say maybe go for uh, Mancera Citra Boise, the original. I think that'll suit you really nicely. Add that smoky citrus style to your collection that a lot of people get with things like Aventus and Mont Blanc Explorer, all those kind of fragrances. But I think Cedar Bosé would suit you really nicely in this collection. And then maybe Maison Margiela's Jazz Club, because you kind of need something that's a bit more intimate for the evening time in your collection. You don't really have something like that. I think Jazz Club is one of my favorite fragrances in this category. And it has a new and interesting sexy style of the boozy perfumery in there. It's really beautifully balanced. I think it would suit you really nicely here. And then finally, we have Ibrahim who sent me this picture first of all. Uh, which was a beautiful picture, and I really like this, but then a few months later, because I didn't respond to his DM, he sent me another picture. You've just double dipped into our collection video. It's a negative uh, 68 out of 10 for you, bro. Sorry. But honestly, the photography here is excellent. Really beautiful picture. But we'll focus on the second bigger collection here. You got a few clones. Okay, you got the uh, Oud for Glory, the, Af uh, the Assad by Latafa. I'm not sure which Al Haramein Amberu that is. I can't read the writing. You got some beautiful designers and be beautiful niche choices as well with Tuxedo, Haltain, Red Tobacco. This is a really awesome balanced quality collection. I really like it. You're already quite far ahead in the game. For you, I would just say add some more styles to your collection. You got the Oud perfumery, you got the tobacco perfumery. Maybe you could add some leather into your collection. You like your Middle Eastern clones and you like, if you're missing leather, I'm, I'm gonna recommend it. It's gonna be Rassasi's La Yucca Wam, one of the highest rated fragrances on Fragrantica, a beast mode Middle Eastern clone of Tuscan leather by Tom Ford. Loud, beastly, smoky leather with a slightly animalic touch, some dryness in there. It just smells super masculine, super intense, and it's a loud, head-turning fragrance. If you like fragrances like red tobacco that just grabs people's attention, then maybe La Yucca would uh, easily be something you would enjoy. You can easily sample it if you want as well. And then the only other style I can think of really is maybe a rose-based fragrance. Uh, and this might seem a bit basic based on what you already have, but actually I think it's, this, the quality still matches what you already own. I would say go for Moschino's Toy Boy. Peppery, rosy, masculine, pear perfumery. Really creative stuff. And I think it would add nicely to your collection. You don't really have anything like that here. And I think you being an avid and strong collector that you already are would appreciate it. So definitely check it out. And that concludes this video, guys. Hopefully it was positive enough for you guys. I think I was fair in my ratings and I really enjoyed seeing these five collections today. So thank you guys for submitting them. I grow these out from DMs people sent on our Instagram, which is at, at School of Scent. So make sure you guys follow us on there if you want to be part of this video series. I, of course, I can't respond to all DMs, guys. So don't be offended if I don't respond to you. We get hundreds of messages that are similar to people submitting their collections, essentially. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you haven't already, check out our previous part in this series. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.